Yo, what up guys? Welcome to your one-stop shop for cops. This is Kevin and today I wanted to show you guys a new shoe that just came out. It's the Fury Adapt and I know I'm a little bit late to this review because I just did my on foot like quite a few weeks ago but I'm finally getting down to filming a good version of it. So uh, here's the Fury Adapt. I was sent over by uh, Mr. Wayne Russell Reebok. Thank you so much for this. Um, it was really kind and generous of you. Um, and I just wanted to go over some of the aesthetics, uh, how it works as even a runner, and my thoughts on it as well. So, let's get into it! So first we have aesthetics. It draws a lot of its uh, aesthetics from the Insta Pump Fury. Just the inspiration, not exactly all of the designs, because it's really different actually. So, you'll see the shroud. Uh, which is pretty consistent and then you have the hexagons here which is sort of like the hexalite technology which is on the bottom it also has a carbon fiber shank right here you'll see that the outsole is rubber which means it's pretty durable um, and that's different from the fury light which I also own and I've also shown you guys which you have probably seen from my videos if you don't if you haven't please uh, go see them and um, so there's no lacing really, the laces aren't long enough, so there's a lace lock. And it goes onto the shroud, which is actually a pretty cool design. So you see this is uh, locked in by the shroud part, actually. And um, it has the pull tabs like any modern runner does. And these, this is a sample colorway, which is mostly white with some detailing on the back. But um, if I could choose again, I would have to go with a different color with the mesh and the... Uh, mesh in the shroud because I want these hexagons to stand out um, and I think that's a really cool detail that um, I'm missing out on with these shoes um, but this is a really cool shoe overall you can uh, I'll probably throw in some b-roll on the video so that you can see more details up close and um, let's get into what I think of the performance of this shoe so uh, in comfort and performance the shoe actually ranks pretty high for me because the heel lockdown is actually very good, it's well padded as well. And um, the only caveat to the performance of the shoe is that there's an inner booty that sort of insulates the shoe a little bit. So you won't really be able to go running during the summer in the shoe, it is not that cool of a shoe. So you would really want to go running in this shoe in like fall, winter, or spring, if you go running at all, because this is, again, this is a casual shoe, but it can be used for running in a pinch. So that's my thoughts on that. I, and my opinions on it aesthetically, I think that it's a really cool idea and I think it was executed very well. And the price point is $100. So let me, let me tell you what I like best about the shoe. I like that the shroud is really nice um, and it's shiny and that, well, sometimes I was afraid that since I have sort of a wide foot that if I, um, if I step down then the shroud would sort of like pop out that sort of um, that problem is sort of solved by just making the laces a little bit tighter, so you won't have to deal with that problem. And um, so I really like this colorway. You've already, you can see that I've already worn it because I meant to get the review out like so so early, and uh, I just didn't get the chance to. So I really appreciate uh, this Fury Adapt, and the details are really really quite cool. Um, this is a sample colorway. But if you liked the original colorway of the Instapump Fury, then they also have that colorway as well. They have the, uh, what is it, the grape color? No, the berry colorway. And that's a very good colorway as well. I think that the stitching on the booty is of good quality. I think that this shoe will probably last uh, not as long as the Instapump Fury, but longer than the Fury Light. My Fury Lights are getting run down because I wear them as beaters. But uh, these, I have to have like a special occasion to break them out, of course. And um, there, there's a hit of 3M right here. I didn't cover that detail, but I think that's a really cool shoe overall. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Also, I'll try to. Uh, also, you guys should probably look up some of the pictures of the other colorways of the shoe that are coming out. In the future, there are going to be all leather. Um, I guess not colorways, but versions of this shoe, and I think that that would be really cool as well. Um, I, w I really wonder what the shroud is like for those leather versions. Do they maintain the shiny uh, material on the outside or do they go with a duller material to go with the duller leather? Who knows? I would have to 
stay tuned for that. And if you're excited about the shoe, I would say uh, go over to my on foot review to see if you really like the uh, shape and aesthetic of the shoes. And I put on some like good pants for that on foot. So, uh, so I guess it's a good on foot review to have. And this is my, these are just my thoughts about the shoe. I think that the shoe has really good comfort and it has really good aesthetics too. So um, I would pretty, pretty much always go with the OG colorway for the Instapump Fury because that colorway has become really iconic in a way. So uh, I, I would say just go with whatever colorway you like though. Um, this is Kevin. Uh, again, thank you so much for Wayne Russell. This was not like an advertised video or anything, but I just told him that I was really excited about the shoes. And I really am because these are, I love all the derivatives of the Instapump Fury. And you guys can expect the Fury Light slip-on version um, video coming soon because I also got a sample of those. And those are, those are a polarizing shoe. I'll try to figure out a way to style them. Um, I still, I'm still like thinking about it. But this is pretty easy to pull off, um, especially during spring and summer. I know it's going into winter, but I'm still probably going to wear them. But uh, thank you so much for watching. This is Kevin. Uh, thank you for stopping by your one-stop shop for cops.